Indonesia. Kepolisian daerah Sumatera Utara menggagalkan aksi penyelundupan manusia secara ilegal. Di pol air bahar kapori menangkap seorang nakoda kapal di perairan Pulau Balang, Batam. Calon pekerja migran ilegal ini umumnya akan diberangkatkan melalui jalur laut menuju Malaysia. To address this critical issue, we present to you a groundbreaking solution IMAPGUAR. IMAPGUAR stands for Immigration for Monitoring and Guard Application and it is designed to combat illegal activities at unregistered port that facilitate human trafficking. Our project integrates advanced maritime geographic information system or MGI technology with a real-time mobile reporting application, providing both the authorities and the community with the tools they need to monitor, report, and prevent illegal activities. Let me introduce our team from Immigration Polytechnic who have worked tirelessly to develop this solution. I am Ilham Mubar Zakil as a lead presenter, Ervan Yilinur Nurul, and Diga. And the background of the problem. So, according to the Indonesian Migrant Worker Protection Agency, or we call bp 2 ib Batam is one of the regions with highest number of human trafficking cases in Indonesia, with hundreds of cases reported each year. A 2023 Global Savory Index report noted that Indonesia has over 1.2 million people estimated to be victims of human trafficking, with Batam serving as a major transit point due to the numerous illegal ports. I mean, what objective? Developing a monitoring system based on Maritime Geographic Information System, GIS, and a mobile reporting application. Second is enhancing early detection of illegal activities and strengthening border surveillance. And third is encouraging community involvement in reporting suspicious activities at illegal ports. The research method is first data collection, a qualitative approach with literature review and secondary data analysis. Second is pro Pre-processing evaluation of immigration policies, maritime security, and technology use for surveillance. And the third model selection, research focus on the integration of keys and the IMAP word reporting application. We will explain to you all about the key feature of IMAP word. First, first feature is a report illegal activities. Reporting illegal activities by the community, this, this feature allows the community to report illegal activities around the ports or whether they observe. The community can easily submit reports the application, including providing information in the form of image, image, GPS location, description of suspicious activities, and the second one is report illegal port, and the third one is interactive map of official port, integrated information on official ports, and the last piece is information and education database, is reporting history and information about human trafficking or TPPO. And why is IMIP board is very unique? And the uniqueness of IMIC board is lie in its ability to build advanced maritime technology with grassroots public involvement. This collaborative approach is an innovative solution for tackling the complex challenge of monitoring illegal maritime activities in Batam and other vulnerable coastal areas. The development and implementation of IMIC board is grounded in both quantitative and qualitative research. The most thing is effectiveness in addressing human trafficking through illegal ports. We are the key findings and evidence supporting the success of this innovation. The first, High incidence of human trafficking in Batam. Second one is impact of illegal parts or rat parts on human trafficking. And the third one is MGI on and satellite based monitoring effectiveness. The fourth one is public reporting as a force multiplied. I will explain about the conclusion. In conclusion, the integration of MGI technology and the IMAP guard reporting application represent a promising approach to enhance monitoring and the prevention of human trafficking in Batam, particularly. This research highlights the importance of community involvement in combating human trafficking and demonstrates how technology can facilitate early detection and reporting of illegal activities. From this system, it is hoped that the effectiveness of immigration policies and protecting citizens from human trafficking can be improved. That concludes our presentation for today. As a closing remark, we would like to remind you of a classical legal maxim that resonates with our fight against human trafficking. Fiat justicia ruat kailum. Let the let justice be done through the heaven's fall. With the introduction of IMF Guard, we aim to uphold justice, especially for the victim of human trafficking, by enhancing surveillance and.